Hello, thanks for joining us again for another video guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at the modeling pairs function within Vertex BD. Modeling pairs and models within Vertex BD are important as they underpin the way Vertex functions. Understanding modeling pairs will enable your user experience to be much more effortless. In Vertex BD, there are 2D drawings and 3D models. These are able to be switched between utilizing the two button options here or utilizing the keyboard shortcut F2. Anything drawn within the 2D drawings will also appear in the 3D model. There are two main 3D models within Vertex, these being the 3D model and the architectural model, which can be switched between using this button here. The architectural 3D model will only show the architectural features such as wall, floor, and roof volumes. The framing model should only show the framing and sheathing that makes up the panels. It's possible to add architectural features into the framing and vice versa if you require. Similar to this, the 2D model has multiple elements to it, which are known as drawing model pairs. These are accessible by clicking this button here or by utilizing the F4 keyboard shortcut. As you can see, when you select the drawing model pairs option, these pairs are split by story ground floor, first floor, etc. Each story will usually have three sets of drawing model pairs, which are for the walls, floors, and ceilings for that story. The intention with these is for each to be utilized throughout the project design, i.e. the walls on the wall drawing model pair, ceiling on the ceiling model pair, etc. This makes outputting drawings easier and makes them less cluttered. Each pair consists of architectural in grey and framing in a light blue colour. This controls which 3D model you are drawing into. However, the 2D model is the same regardless of the 3D model. It is possible to have an element visible in both models. This can be done by utilising the set visibility command within the right click contextual menu. For example, within the 3D model view, if this beam is selected, with the left click and in the right click contextual menu opened, you can utilize the option to set visibility. This will open options within the project document browser, enabling you to select which model pairs the beam is able to be visible on and what floor of your project they can be visible on also. This concludes our video showcasing the basic functions of the modeling pairs within Vertex BD. Thank you for taking the time to join me today for this video. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll take a look at the model tree and project document browser within Vertex BD.